Hello everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks very much for joining me. Today I'm doing the assembly tutorial for the 3D baby bottle. This project has been designed by Nicole Silhouette here on YouTube and I shall link her YouTube channel in the description box below. The 3D baby bottle is available as a digital cutting file in Nicole's Etsy store and it's also available as a cutting die set from Becky's store and I shall link both of those in the description box below. For today's tutorial I'm going to be using the digital cutting file. So let's get started. I've got all my pieces cut out and I shall go through them with you now. So here are the pieces. These pieces here are for the top of the baby bottle and there are six of those. And you'll see here that the glue tabs along this right hand side they all fold down so they're mountain folds this top fold here is a mountain fold followed by another mountain fold then we have a valley fold and then another mountain fold another valley fold and then mountain and mountain and you'll fold all of those six pieces in that way and that will help create the shape of the top of the baby bottle So again, mountain, mountain, valley, mountain, valley, mountain, mountain. Then we have this piece here, which goes on the top and it creates the top, but I'll show you more in the tutorial. Then we have these two pieces here, which are part of the top. And then we'll move on to the pieces of the actual bottle. So we have two that have a hole or a window cut out and then we have four like this. And then we have the base piece. I've also got two pieces of acetate here for windows and they each measure four inches by one and a half inch. And they will get attached on the inside like so. And then of course I've got the decorative panels here too. So we'll get started and we'll put the baby bottle base together first. And to begin with, I'm going to put the windows into these pieces that have the holes. And you can see I've gone ahead and put double sided tape ready to adhere the acetate to. And it's always easier to adhere acetate with a double sided tape rather than glue. I'm adhering the acetate window on the inside edge of the baby bottle so you won't see this adhesive. And I'll just do the second one. And you can also see where I've gone ahead and put double-sided tape on all of the glue tabs that make up the bottle and also the top. I'm just getting that pressed down into place. And there's our two windows done. For the pieces, or well, the folding of these pieces here, we've got a valley fold, a mountain, a mountain, and then down the bottom that's another two mountain folds. And the glue tabs on the edges are all mountain folds too. This is the orientation that you'll need to stick these sides together. You'll need a window, then two blanks, then a window, and two blanks. And that way your window will end up on opposite sides of the bottle. So I'm just removing the backings of the adhesive on the glue tabs on this side with a window, and then I'm going to join a blank side onto it taking care to line up the glue tabs and I'm following the shape that the folding of the score lines has made to create the shape of the bottle. Just taking my time making sure that it's lining up as nicely as I can get it. The more precise you can be the better your project will look in the end. So I'll go ahead now and I'll join all of the other sides together in exactly the same way. And I'll start at the top and I'll work my way down, being as precise as I can. And you can see our baby bottle starting to take shape. So I'm just working my way, getting all these sides joined together. It's looking good. I'm 
Just getting this last piece on and then we'll join up the shape. Now we'll close this up, starting from the top and working my way down. And that's our bottle all joined together. So I do have the base here to go onto the bottom of the bottle. And that will go into place on the bottom like so. But I'm not going to do that just now. What I do like to do with my 3D paper projects is I like to do some strengthening layers on the inside. And the way I do that is I generally cut the decorative layers like what I have here in my right hand that will go on the outside. I've cut them from white and they're going to go on the inside. And what this does is it gives the project some extra strength and stability. It will hide the glue tabs of what we've just joined together on the inside there. And it will give a nice finished look on the inside. Which is nice if you're going to be giving this as a gift, which I guess in most cases, if you were going to make this 3D baby bottle, you would be making it to give to somebody. But again, it's purely optional. You do not have to do this if you don't want to. I just like to for the strength that it adds and the fact that it hides the glue tabs. So you can't see them when you're looking in. And it's a nice finished off look. But you can leave it out and not do it at all if you don't want to. It is extra work, so it's up to you what you want to do. So I'm just getting all of these pieces stuck in. And I'm using glue for this part. It gives you that wriggle room to be able to manoeuvre the pieces around exactly how you'd like them. And leaving that end piece off the bottom gives you that easy access inside to be able to manoeuvre the piece from both ends. So now I'll put these panels in place so that will go on the window panel pieces. And this actually assists with hiding where we glued on the acetate on the inside there. And it sandwiches the acetate between the two pieces of cardstock. So that's beneficial as well by doing these layers. So having a look there from the inside and that's looking nice and finished off. And it feels stronger too having those panels on the inside. So now I'm going to glue the base into position and the way I like to do that is I'll remove the backing off one glue tab, affix it to one glue tab first, then change over to the opposite side and glue that one down and work in that fashion all the way around until this base is glued into position. So I've just sped up the footage here whilst I get that done. So I'm just removing the backings off the glue tab pressing it into place, moving over to the opposite side and doing the same thing until all of the side pieces are attached to the base and then pressing it down from the inside. And you can see that's in position now. And that's our baby bottle base, pretty well done. It's time now to move on to the top of the baby bottle and we've got these six pieces here. And I'm just reinforcing the folds here. This piece makes up the teat and the rim. So it's two parts really in one piece. So I'm just removing the backings off the adhesive on the glue tabs. Don't worry about that gap there. That's actually intentional. That's to separate the teat from the rim of the baby bottle as I'm sort of indicating here. It will become more apparent later. So to begin with, we're going to start from the top and work our way down, following the folds of the mountain, mountain, valley, then mountain, valley, and then mountain and mountain folds. This helps make the shape, which is sort of, you can sort of see it coming together here. You've got the teat at the top there and the rim at the bottom where my thumbs are. And then you'll continue on in this fashion until all the six pieces are joined together as I'm showing here. Just taking your time, being as precise as you can and following the shape to create the top of the baby bottle lid. And you can see as we're working our way around that it's starting to take shape. We're getting a definitive difference between the baby bottle teat and the rim of the baby bottle. 
So just getting these last pieces in place before we join the shape together. Just taking my time and being as precise as I can. Just putting this last one into place and then we'll close it up. Just taking the backings off the adhesive on the glue tabs. And then starting from the top and working my way down. Joining the glue tabs to the side of the piece there and pressing it into place. And making sure things are taking shape as they should. And now you can see there's a very distinct shape between the teat and the rim of the baby bottle. So I'm just making sure the glue tabs are getting a good hold there. And then we'll add the little top piece on the top. So I'm just removing the backings of the adhesive on those tabs. And then I'll get the little top piece and pop that into position, taking care to line it up and be as precise as I can. Just pushing it from the other side. And that's looking good. Next up, we have these hexagon pieces with the centers cut out and I'm showing you where they're going to be going. One on the outside like so and one on the inside as I'm showing here. But first I'm going to do a fit test of this lid onto the baby bottle so that the paper gets a good memory and it is meant to be a snug fit because you don't want your goodies that you put inside to fall out. So I'm going to glue these hexagons with the centers cut out into position and this first one goes over the teat and it will cover those gaps that you can see from when we put this together and it will give you a more defined shape and a difference between the rim and the teat. So I'm just pushing that into position making sure that the glue is getting a good hold before sticking the other one in place on the inside. And you can see where that goes there is a ledge especially for that to fit in. So I'm just applying glue and I'm going to stick that into position and that's going to give that some strength from the other side too. And you can now see the top of our baby bottle. You can see the difference between the teat and the rim of the baby bottle. It's taken shape nicely. And as I did for the inside of the baby bottle, I'm going to do the same for the inside of the lid. I've cut the decorative layers again from white cardstock and I'm going to glue them in on the underneath side to give it a nice neat finished off look and to cover up the glue tabs. These pieces that I'm gluing in now, you need to be careful if you, do, if you do decide to do this, where I'm sticking them now will add extra bulk and it will make your lid fit a lot tighter onto the bottle. So if you don't mind that, leave them on. If not, leave them off. Again, this whole process of sticking these layers on the inside is entirely up to you. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. It's just something that I like to do myself personally. And I leave it in in case it gives somebody else an idea to do it as well. Again, totally optional. So I'm just getting that last piece in place. And then I didn't decide until later that I want to put one down that very end. So I'll actually go and do that off camera a bit later on. As well as for the bottom of the inside of the baby bottle. Because I don't like that I can see the glue tabs down there. So I'll do that off camera a bit later. And I'm just going to do another quick fit test to the bottle with the lid. With those layers on the inside it does make it a tighter fit but it does go on. There's no problems there. It's time now to move on and decorate the baby bottle. And I've got all my decorative layers here ready to go. I've sped up the footage and I'm using glue so that I can manoeuvre these pieces into position nicely. I'm using a pink gingham paper. This decorative panel here that I'm putting glue on now, I'm using the digital cutting file. So it does look different to the one that's in the die cutting set. The one in the die set is a little bit more ornate because the digital cutters just will not cut all of those intricate details sometimes. So Nicole designed the one for the die cutting set a little bit differently to the cutting file. So I'm just getting all these panels in place. 
making sure that the glue is getting a good hold. before pressing it down. Just getting the last couple of decorative layers into position before moving on. And what I was thinking when I was making this baby bottle was the piece that you've got that makes the window the side piece that makes the window. If you cut that six times, you could have windows all the way around your baby bottle. The digital cutting file has it as a separate piece, and of course it's a separate piece in the actual cutting die set. So you could have it so you had a window here, 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 and here, and also there. You could have windows six sides if you wanted, or you could have no windows or you could have it the way I've done it with two. There are many options for you. It's time now to put the decorative layers into position onto the lid. These pieces here that I'm putting into position now are for the rim, which is just below the teat there. And then I've got the other layers here that go onto the teat. And I've just got those layers here and I'm shaping them to put them into position onto the baby bottle lid. Just getting them all into shape and I'm going to glue them on. The decorative panels do actually add some additional shape to the baby bottle lid and making it look a little bit more realistic. So just getting those last layers glued into position and then there's just one more little bit that goes onto the top of the teat there. So I've got that piece here and I'm just going to glue that on top. And that's our baby bottle lid all finished. I'm going to put it on top of the bottle, do a fit test, make sure everything is fitting nicely and it does. And that's our baby bottle, all done except for decorating. So I went ahead off camera and I decorated my baby bottle and finished it off. I've kept things fairly simple, just decorating with some flowers, some ribbon and a small butterfly charm. And I've only decorated one side that I've called the front. And the other side there is the back and I've left that plain. You of course can decorate yours in any way that you like. You can decorate it for a girl like I have here or you can decorate it for a boy or even gender neutral with gender neutral colours, it's up to you. You will also see that I did cut another one of those hexagons with the centre out of it in pink just to finish off the top of the baby bottle lid because I like the look of it. I also put the layering piece down the bottom of the baby bottle and out down in the tip of the lid there just to finish things off nicely. So that's my tutorial finished for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching and that you feel inspired to make one of these baby bottle gift boxes. Don't forget to check the description box down below for the links that I've previously mentioned. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would really love that too. Thanks very much for watching today. Have a great day and until next time, it's bye for now.